Hey guys, the Gadget Man here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this electric lunchbox. So this was gifted to me to do this unboxing and demo, and that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we need to do is get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So let's get at it. All right. Get it out of its package here. Okay, let's look at this. Now, this is a new uh, device for me. I've never owned one of these before, so I'm going to learn as I demonstrate to you how it works. It's got a bunch of little clips on it. There we go. Take the lid off. Let's look at the lid. lid has a spoon compartment in it with a nice little metal spoon there and a fork compartment. So your utensil compartment's on top of your lid. Um has a silicon seal around the edge of it. Let's see what we got here. We've got our uh, wall power cord and our car power cord for it. And a nice little container here with a lid to keep food in. Keep it nice and warm. Uh, what's this? Probably a little carry bag or something. All right, so we've got a little hot bag here. And if it's nice and hot, you can put it down in this bag here, zip it up, and that'll further insulate it, keep it warm for you. So take it with you like that. Okay, let's pull this out. Get the, got a removable pan here, nice little stainless steel or, yeah, looks like stainless steel. And then you've got your little hot plate down here. Here's where you uh, plug in your power cords that will be powering it. R one right here. This is where the car outlet goes. And then you have your wall outlet that goes. Get that out there a little bit so you can see it. It goes right in there. Okay. So fairly simple to use. Obviously, you don't want to keep this in here when this thing's on. That's plastic. Okay. So put that down in there. This is your little container. And uh, let's see, get that centered on there. Pretty cool. Cool little device. Well, you know, I, actually what I'm gonna do is uh, take it inside hook it up to some electricity and test it out with some food and then come back and tell you uh, how it worked. So just hold on. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the way I'm going to test this thing for you to kind of demonstrate it is by heating up a can of soup here. I'm kind of hungry, so I want to heat some soup up. And so we're starting off completely cold. I'm going to use a thermometer to show the heat rise on it here. And we'll go ahead and pour this can of soup in here. A little chicken noodle soup here. Get the old taste buds going. And let's go ahead and put that on there. And let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's see how long it takes to heat this can of soup up. Alright guys, so um, the camera died while it was recording, but uh, I stopped it at 47 minutes. It's right at 130 degrees. It started at 70 degrees, so that's 50 degrees, and it got to 130 degrees. That's as hot as it got, but it got there about 35 minutes. I wanted to record the whole thing, but the battery died on the camera and I didn't catch it. So 
Um, but uh, so it took on the web page. It says it takes between 30, 35 and 45 minutes to heat food up. Um, it doesn't say on there what the maximum temperature is, but it did stop at 130 degrees at about 35 minutes and it didn't go any higher. So um, it took the food from 70 degrees to 135, 30 degrees in 35 minutes. And that's uh, in line with what it says on the website, uh, on the ad, the ad page for this, uh, what it would take to heat it up. And uh, cold food would take about 45 minutes. So um, it's not fast, but it does do it. And, you know, 130 degrees is perfect eating temperature. So uh, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this soup. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have, please hit that thumbs up right down there underneath the video to let me know if this video has helped you out.